Hi everyone, I'm Chelsea from Twinkle and today I'm going to share five activities you can use when teaching children all about fronted adverbials. This fronted adverbial worksheet pack from Twinkle contains seven worksheets spanning five different activities. Let's check them out. Included in the worksheet pack is a spot the adverbial activity. Children must read given sentences and then identify the adverbials within them. This is a great starting activity as it ensures children know what an adverbial is. There is a handy definition at the start of every worksheet too. Know that they can be found at the start, middle and end of a sentence and there can be multiple adverbials in the same sentence. As an extension, copy the found adverbials onto cards. Place them face down and pick the top card. Can your children think of another sentence which includes this adverbial? Can they use it at the start of the sentence to create a fronted adverbial? These could be spoken or written down. Another activity included in this pack, children must cut up example adverbial phrases and sort them into the categories manner, time and place, depending on what extra information they provide about the verb. If the phrase provides more detail about how the verb is carried out, this is an adverbial phrase of manner. If it gives more detail about when the verb is taking place, this is an adverbial phrase of time. And if it provides extra detail about where the verb has taken place, this is an adverbial phrase of place. These cards could be glued down and the sheet kept as a handy idea mat for their writing. Or keep the cards loose and play some of the other games mentioned in this video. There are three similar worksheets included in the pack, one for each type of adverbial phrase. Learners must pick the most sensible fronted adverbial for each main clause provided. As a fun alternative or warm up to this matching activity, let children make up some nonsense sentences. Give them 10 minutes to write down as many different adverbial phrases as they can on some flashcards. They could even borrow phrases from past activities and the matching worksheets. Then give them 10 minutes to write down as many main clauses as possible on different flashcards. Place them face down and pick the top card off each pile to make your nonsense sentence. Try reading them with the adverbial phrase at the end and then at the start of the sentence. Can they discuss which way sounds better? It will be different for each sentence. Create a comma card and remind children that we place the comma in between the adverbial phrase and the main clause, but only for fronted adverbial phrases which are at the start of the sentence. You could then challenge learners to record their sentences accurately, adding full stops and capital letters where they are needed. The provided example includes a writing prompt photograph and a list of suitable adverbial phrases. Learners must pick an adverbial phrase and then finish it off with an appropriate main clause. You can tailor this activity to your children by providing a different writing prompt photograph to suit your current topic. You already have a pack of cards full of adverbial phrases. Could children pick one of these cards and finish it off with a suitable main clause? Let learners practice reading the sentence aloud so they can spot where the natural pause works best to make the meaning of the sentence clear. This worksheet includes complete sentences which include a fronted adverbial. Learners must identify where the fronted adverbial ends and the main clause begins and insert a comma to show this distinction. Thank you for watching and I hope these fun activities help your learners feel confident with fronted adverbials. See you next time. Bye!